What's up guys, my name is Pig Dragon and welcome to the Crooked Man. This is a horror game, so let's get into it. Um, sorry I haven't been posting in like a really long time. I've been busy with a whole bunch of stuff that I'm doing with that goes to school from a project that I'm working on for you guys. So, yeah. There was a Crooked Man and he walked a Crooked Mile. He found a crooked sense, sixpence, and pawn a crooked star. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. I think... It's a nursery room, right? Crooked man is an old nursery room. Phew, finally things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything we can help with, dude? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us should go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Why isn't it like lined up with the computer? Alright, whatever. Got my bathroom. I want to take a shower. Nice shower. Okay, I guess I can't. Alright, um. Is this wires? Oh, it's a crack. Large crack in the wall. We got a phone. That's a TV. Okay. What's this? Here's a mail. Huh? Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Um, who? <laughs> what license is that big? It's like bigger than. Huh? You hear someone? Uh oh. What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy and practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that would not help him here. Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Much furniture. <laughs> Besides, you told me to look for a new for the new place, right? Don't come up complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. Ah, uh, come on. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. Hey, my friend's playing Counter Strike. Uh, talking gets distant. The lessons can wait. I guess better get to bed. Oh, poor David. Oh, phone. Oh. Hello? 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 Who is this? Ugh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Shirley? Who's Shirley? Okay then. That, how rude. How rude. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. You know what, David? That is a good decision. Let's go. Let's assume. How do I sleep? It's the face bar, right? Oh, man, there you go. Man, I'm tired. I have a Pringles can right next to me. He's taunting me, but I don't want to eat in the video. Oh, really? Is that someone crying? I can't sleep in this. Someone's crying. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. <laughs> yeah, let's go complain at 4 o'clock in the morning. Woman's voice? Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just, I can hear you from my room. Even, it's making me hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? Oh, this lady wants to fight. You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Right, I guess so. Come on, David. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. Come on, David. Use your common sense, bro. Maybe the plant is crying. No, I don't think so. What about downstairs? 
Nothing new on the first floor. Okay. I like how he just kind of floats, like right here. There you go. What is that? There's someone fapping. Crooked man, are you fapping in here? Is that the bathroom? Yikes, the water. This is the faucet busted. Well, that's a little weird. The sounds are pretty good in this, hmm? Under the bed. <sighs> Come on, man. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. No. Eh. How do I. There we go. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm? Found something. Get a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Yeah, you should get to bed. You didn't even crawl on the bed. I hear crying again. It sounds still. Where's it coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Oh. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean... Just, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Right? Where am I going exactly? Oh. Hello? No one cares about you. What do I have? Paul's license, cell phone, lighter, cigarettes, notebook scrap. Save again. Paul, what is it? Uh, yeah, um, I forgot my license yesterday. It wasn't on the table. Oh, yeah, it is. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you a bit. Hey, yeah, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital, so that's where I'm going. Let's see, take care of yourself, buddy. That's my nickname for my parents. Oh, yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Bah. I like how you get like so close to me. Oh, what's laughing? Okay, that's the radio, I think. Oh, that's an auto. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh man, is it? If it isn't little Timmy, you're certainly ground. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But it took a few days off, so I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. I think you're a little too old for that, dude. No matter, that's wonderful. You get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Ma'am, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy it from there. Mom. 
Mom. Mommy. Oh, would you? Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. This is my swamp. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, are you? Ma, ma. Get out! I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody. There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you to bed. Sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. We'll have to leave for you. will have you to... Yeah. Understand. Uh, understood. Take good care of it. Davy, you sent me, Davy boy. Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Yeah. Mom. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother's always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, Davy. Please. Mom. It's me, remember? Mom. Davy, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but she said, Mom. I said leave. What are you doing? Oh. Bring the sedatives. It actually made me jump. Holy crap. Hey, Mr. Beater, man. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgotten many things. She's having trouble controlling her emotions. Does she have amnesia? I ask you to be patient. She may well get better so you can live with her again. I hope you can help her. Dun, 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 dun. What the f- What the f- What was that? Hello? What? Chair? Why did you move? Get back. Trash can. Did I move that chair? Why would you face the other direction of the chair if you're gonna ask that? Hmm, there's something in the jar. Well, that's why. Well, you could just turn it though. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He's here for you out a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Yeah, probably, dude. Oh, okay, I'm moving. How are you doing? Uh, you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call me if you're ever lonely, okay? That <laughs> sounds like... Alright. Call me if you're ever lonely, big bo- <laughs> We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She said... You know, she should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Way to make it awkward. Alright, see ya. Oh. I got- I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. I wanna read more though. I'm just kidding. I hate reading. Whoa, that scared me. Why didn't it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Whoa. Sink. It said sink, right? You lied to me, TV. What about the toilet? Oh, there's a sink right here. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. You got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. He went and walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked stop. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked mouse. Isn't this a mother goose for him? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. So this this is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Oh. 
You like to sleep a lot, David. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess it's not working so well. I appreciate my, Paul and Marion's help, but... Where did you live before this? Okay, that's a little kid. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Wow. Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. What? Could make noises. Just a broken cup. Jesus, so do Wait, what? Help me. The coffee says, You gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Just just sleep on it, David. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up, man? You sound sleepy, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, um, I was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is this now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady. You curious about something? Well, it seems like you forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. Hey, Landlady's on the far end of the first floor. The far end of the first floor. Alright. Hello, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live here? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what's that boy's name? I believe it was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where you went. No, I never heard that. Really just up and left out of the blue. Uh, I just can't remember that name. I should rummage through my... Oh, crap. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks a lot. All right, I'll see you around. Alright, Randy, sorry I wasn't very useful. Man about my age, I can only wonder. Oh well, better get back to my room and sleep, David. And sleep. Alright. Oh, nah. Nah, I'm up. Nah. 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 Oh, heck, nah. Does it say anything new? Can't read it. Why are these checks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Get a brass key. I, this key's pretty fancy. I doubt it'd be for anything in here, so I wonder where. The guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, and the coffee. Huh, it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were any ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. Oh, come on, David, that's a low. But I wonder about this scrap of paper. Was the man who lived here like... Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Yeah, just sleep on it, dude. Like you usually do. Don't bother to clean up anything. Come on, David, sleep. There you go. What? Is that a radio? Where's that coming from? Is it inside the house? I thought it was like a computer, like the old fax machine. Is it this? No, it's probably not the bathtub. Where is it? Is it in here? 
Aha, it came from in here. Alright. Radio. What's... Why is this in my closet? Not mentioned turning on by itself. Hmm, there's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? You got a paper with an address. Okay. Oh! Okay. Wait. I'm... I'm waiting for you? What? Why did... How and when did... What? Ah! That legit scared me. <laughs> Here come the jump scares. So you sleep well last night? Sorry, I had to sleep. I had you sleep on the couch. Duh. I should be sorry for coming over so late. What couch? There's no couch in here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. Hey, why you? Huh, just kidding. You know, so, yeah, don't mention the blood writing on the wall. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright, I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, Paul, you make it fun of me. Or, hey, you make it fun of me? That was Paul. Oh, yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not just whose fault it is, I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. Oh, come on, dude. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep that mopping up and you'll leave your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. Don't want to waste my waste my vacation, you know? Ooh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast is ready, Pa. David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come in anytime you Nick. Why would you go back here? There. Looks like this address is in the mountains. Oh, come on. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stay in this place anymore. Yeah, no shit. Prologue? That was the prologue? Ah. Oh, David's room. Man. All right. Well, unfortunately, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys would like more, leave a like and comment below. And if you guys want more videos from me in general, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It'd be very much appreciated. And as usual, I will see you guys in my next video. Later.